Hello, my name is Cyrus Smith, and welcome to the Blue Wave Sports Show, where we have the interview portion, and we have the FAU Baseball Call coach here, Don McCormick. How are you doing, coach? Very good. This is what? What's this segment called? The interview portion of the segment, Coach's Corner, if you oh, will. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I thought you said Blue Wave for a minute. Well, yeah, the Blue Wave Sports Show. That's the name of the sports show. That's that an have. awesome. Do you know where the Blue Wave came from? No, no not idea. FAU Baseball used to be called the Blue Wave. Really? Yes. <laughs> I can bring you some logos that we used to use in 1989. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 1988, Bob Boyle, um, who is a artist and he graduated from FAU, yeah. come up, came up with a logo with the, and FAU was known, the baseball team was known as the Blue Wave for probably the next 15 years. Wow. And then wow, they wow, made us wow. transition back to the Owls. Wow, I had no idea. Who, who knew that the Blue Wave goes all you, the way back? Do you know the original <laughs> newspaper for FAU in the 60s mm -hmm. was called like the Blue Wave as well? Really? Armin Grossman, who was board of trustee uh, here, he showed us a couple copies of it that they called it that. So um, it has a history with the ocean being so close. Right. Um, it is a neat thing. So, but. Uh, we're the Owls, and I'm sorry I got <laughs> no, you're off completely topic. Fine. <laughs> okay. Speaking of back then, 1989, historically the baseball team has been the most successful sport at FAU. Um, you guys have had a lot of players come through here and actually end up being in a professional league. We've had two players drafted by the Padres and uh, the Cardinals last year. Um, I just wanted you to get your thoughts on necessarily like what do you feel like has been the most contributing part to the, the success of at FAU? Well um, I think consistency in the coaching staff. Mm -hmm. um, there's only been three head coaches in FAU history. Uh, Steve Trailer started the program in 81. Um, Coach Cooney came along, Kevin Cooney came along in 87. I started here in 1990. This is my 25th season of FAU baseball and then I became the head coach uh, seven years ago. So I think it's the consistency of it. We've been, we've been very fortunate that we've been able to keep that kind of same message to the recruits. Mm -hmm. And some of the other programs on campus have not been able to do that, uh, but they're getting there, you know. And, and, um, but that's been our biggest thing is the consistency of the message to the recruits that you're gonna get taken care of. FAU is a wonderful school. Um, academically, socially, uh, everything is going to, you're going to blossom here as a young person. So the message has been consistent and people, when we walk to, into a game, people know that, hey, we got to sit and talk with them because they're going to take care of us. Now, you started the season very hot this year. At 6-2, and two, you've had some very impressive wins, performed very well against a major competition. What are your thoughts on the season so far? What are your impressions? Well, so far, so good. Uh, the team has really, really played well, come out of the gate and played well. Um, they've played tough, too. They, they compete. They, you know, they don't get down on themselves. They encourage each other. That's the part that I like is, is they're in each other's corner. There's not much bickering, um, which, you know, you get 35 males together, and sometimes <laughs> that things don't go the way you write them off. High testosterone level, of course. Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> all type A personalities. And, and No, but they've done a really nice job, and we're proud of the fact of what we've accomplished so far. But it's the beginning. We, you know, there's 48 games left, plus the conference tournament, plus regional, plus on. So, But we're in a good situation right now in terms of, um, we're defining some roles. Some guys are getting an opportunity to show us what they can do. Um, the guys that are supposed to perform are performing, so we're in a good we're in a good position right now. Now, is it a little weird having not having to leave the state of Florida for a baseball game? I mean, you've had a long home stretch before at home, and then you had to go to I believe Jupiter was last night. Last night, and then now you have another about to start another ten game home stand here. Are you are? Is that weird for you, or are you pretty much used to it being that? The well, State we're, State we're State pretty State. much used to it. This is, mm -hmm. you know, over the years we've taken an odd trip early in the year somewhere, but uh, the last couple of years, if we can play at home and get people to come to us, we should do it. You know, um, it, it, it's good for the school, it's good for us, it's good for the community to have these people in Boca. Um, it's good to play at home. Um, you know, we have another, like you said, we have another... I think 11 games at home and then we go on the road to our first conference game in North Carolina. Um, I don't like going out of state. It's too cold for me. Um, <laughs> we played last year in, in West Virginia, Huntington, West Virginia at Marshall and it was absolutely freezing. And we don't, 
that's not good for yeah, us. Sunshine, yeah. we, we don't do that at all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we don't. Um, all the re although the rest of the country is absolutely snowed in, so uh, they're not playing much baseball. Uh, I guess global warming. No one's, <laughs> no one's told anybody up north about that yet. So up to this point, Coach, who has really impressed impressed you so far up to the season? I mean, we have a lot of fresh faces in, and not not a lot of people are familiar with the players that who are. You know, we've seen Christian Dix the other day hit a walk off home run, and no one knew who he was. Like that was his second game there as an FAU Owl. So who has really impressed you? Well, Christian's got off to a really nice start. He had a great game last night mm -hmm. up in Jupiter. Um, he's hitting about 375, um, which is going to earn him some more playing time. Um, another newcomer that's that's done a nice job is uh, Robbie Corsell. Um, he's from St. Petersburg, and he's been pitching on Sundays. He's had two pretty good outings. The returners, um, Drew Jackson and um, Ricky Santiago, have really, really yes. performed up to, uh, I guess, billing. You know, <laughs> uh, both seniors, um, and of course, Bo Logan, the captain of the team. He, it's amazing what he does. He's two and out with one save and eight games, which is unheard of. So um, we're off to a good start. You know, Brandon Sanger and, and um, uh, Stephen Kerr um, have have helped. Uh, CJ has played amazing defense at short. Um, another newcomer, Roman Collins, um, he's our lone out-of-state guy. He's from Minnesota. Oh, he's got enjoying a, the weather. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, even even on the, the the Miami game, which was cold at night, he's like, I don't know what the problem is, guys. This is <laughs> this is nothing for me. Um, uh, he's got off to a nice start too, and and because Billy Andrus had broken his hand, mm -hmm. he has filled in admirably in center field. So we're 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 doing okay. Now, after last year, we I mean, it was the first year in Conference USA making the transition from the Sun Belt Conference, and. For FAU standards, it was a disappointing season, to say the least. That's fair enough to say. Yeah. What are your anticipations heading into conference conference play this season? Is there a, a bit more of like something to prove from from your standpoint and as the player standpoint? I, as well? I, I think so. I I I think you're 100 percent right that um, uh, you know due to some unforeseen things, we didn't perform as well as we'd like to mm -hmm. in the conference last year, and it was not up to our Standards that the, the standards that have been set by the previous you know 39 teams at FAU or 38 teams at FAU, um, I think the guys understand that and know that hey, the alumni, the FAU alumni baseball players are looking at us and we have to kind of get this thing back to where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. um, not that it was bad; it just wasn't up to our standards. Right. Um, and you know the other thing is is and and it's funny though spring training started. Uh, is starting and and you hear the same thing um, I was listening to Chris Davis the other day and he's like if I stay healthy I'm gonna have a good year and sometimes the health of the players is an issue that we just can't overcome mm -hmm. you know and last year that reared its ugly head and put us behind the eight ball and you know at the end of the year we played extremely well we won our last three conference series it wasn't enough to get to where we needed to get and um, I was talking to the old Dominion coach, and he said, God, man, you guys are good. And I said, well, this is what we envisioned, mm -hmm. you know, Mitchell playing short and Levi catching again and this guy here. I said, for the last 30 games, yeah. we, we didn't have that, you know. Um, but you're right. We, 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 we do have a little bit of a chip on our shoulder that we have to make sure that everybody understands in this new league how good we really are. Yeah. Well, as of now, FAU is still in the midst of a non-conference schedule and will begin a 10-game homestand starting this Friday against Monmouth. First pitch is scheduled for 6.30 p.m. Thank you again, Coach, for coming on to the Blue Wave Sports Show. Yes. No, <laughs> thank you, and we'll see you at the ballpark.